what up, dude? This your boy Maserati Black. This your boy Straight Drizzle Drop. And we the Rock Mob. And you here live in the A with hip hop since 1987. I know what it is. Hip hop since 1987. It's your man El Dorado. We live in ATL right now. I got the honor and the pleasure of being with DC native but Atlanta representative Rock Mob. What's going on, gentlemen? How y'all doing today? What's good with y'all? Chilling, man. Chilling. Definitely appreciate y'all taking out the time to mess with us today. Well, appreciate you know, you. For those who may not know who got who you guys are, excuse me. Get a world a little, you know, a little overview of who you guys are and what exactly y'all do. Well, you know, I'm straight. I'm a, this straight drop, <laughs> straight drop. This Molly right Black. They may know us for having a record with Future Rocco uh, called Say None. It went crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know. Uh, did real well for the rock mob, you know what I'm saying? We originally from DC, you know what I'm saying? We go home, you know what I'm saying, once a month, you know what I'm saying? But we reside at ATL, I do. you know what I'm saying? We've been grinding a long time, you know? Block party from me, since we was eight, you know what I'm saying? Rock and he was playing the bands, we was just grinding, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, man, it's a constant grind, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we here now, you know what I'm saying? We in the A, you know what I'm saying, making music, you know? It's, it's grinding. Y'all you know, definitely are making a lot of noise in the A as far as the hip hop scene is, is concerned or whatnot. And you guys recently put out a track entitled This Summer with Young Thug. Yeah, how did yeah. that album, how did that record come about? Actually, we got three records with Thug. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What happened was, you know what I'm saying? I, I heard, like, a, a female put me on a Young Thug and she was like, you know, he the next dude was very pop. So I was listening, that's when the Stoner record was going, but it didn't really catch me, you know what I'm saying? I so then I heard him on Rich Homie Quan shit, you know what I'm saying? To get the fuck out of my face. And I was like, oh, he killed it. I got to reach out to him. So I called up a homie, KIP. I was like, bro, you can get Thug on the record? He was like, yeah, hold on. Let me get, you know what I'm saying? Let me call him up. He called him up, made it happen. He came over here dolo. You know what I'm saying? And so we got to work and got to plan the Man, track. So how do you feel like your upbringing in the DMV influences or has inspired your sound and your craft here in Atlanta? Well, it, it is because we got, you know what I'm saying? You know, we got the, we kind of like intertwined, you know what I'm saying? What, you know what I'm saying? up north, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, slang, and we kind of like mix it in with, you know what I'm saying, you know, what we doing down here in the south, you know what I'm saying, so you kind of like, when you been down here for so long, you know what I'm saying, you kind of like, you know what I'm saying, you know, you get, you kind of adapt a new uh, slang, so we kind of like intertwine it with it, but as far as the upbringing, you know what I'm saying, what we go through in the street, you know what I'm saying, what we went through, you know what I'm saying, to bring it down here, we just trying to like, just come down here to tell a story, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a story to tell, but we're going to tell ours, you know? I definitely respect that. Speaking of having a story to tell, you know, uh, I understand you were shot. You were shot in, in the neck and things like that. So, right. you know, just even being here right now is a blessing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we understand, you know, like, people in urban areas, you know, a lot of the mass media thinks when they hear about guns and drugs and violence and things, you know, like... Rappers are glorifying these things instead of understanding this is just, you know, how we were raised, our, our surroundings and things like that. So, what advice would you give the rappers these days, you know, who may be coming from the streets and are looking, you know, to, like, change their lives? I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm not, I don't glorify none of them street cred. Like, I did it all, you know what I'm saying? Shot, been shot at, I did it all, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, it's like... I'm going I'm to keep it real, man. Listen to your parents, you know what I'm saying? Your parents' intuition, when you know how old we all got, you know, we coming up, and your friend, your mom tell you, stay away from that boy. He he not going to be right for you. A parent's intuition is always right. You know what I'm saying? Because had I listened to my mom, and like, you know, don't hang around certain people. I thought I knew what I was doing, but it ended up backfiring on me because the same people they tell you, like, don't hang around. Them be the people that cross you. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? And, and just stay grounded. You know what I'm saying? Everything in the negative. You ain't got to follow the whole negative path with everybody doing fine, shooting, being shot nine times, all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a blessing. I'm a walking testimony. You know what I'm saying? I so, that. it's like, right now, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's just, you know, stay in school. Keep God first, man. You know what I'm saying? And if you just believe in what you do, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? You know, anybody can do it. We can be anything we want to be. You know what I'm saying? You just got to keep at it, you know what I'm saying, and believe in you. You know what I'm saying? You don't even want to dream for you. You know what I'm saying? I dig that. So, I dig that. So how did you two come together? You know, for those who may not know how your relationship formed, give us a little history just about how Rock Mob formed. We brothers, man. A lot of people don't know that, you know? So we Same mother. <laughs> there we go. So we brothers. Um, so. What's, what's your relationship like in the booth? Like, it... Is it, is it, the, the, like, y'all chemistry, does it go without saying? Do y'all get into, like, the brother fuse? And, like, I gotta make sure my verse yeah. better. Oh, yeah, yeah. we go on there, we compete. We try to down food each like, other. It's like, you know, and we, we really hard on each other. Right. He'd tell me, man, I don't like that. I don't like that shit. You know what I mean? 
And I'll be like, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, we're going there. You know what I'm saying? I might catch an attitude to make him keep doing extra verses. You know what I'm saying? But I already got the good take he did. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because we both can record. You know what I'm saying? Like, we actually built this studio hands on. Like, you know, we went to school for this. So, like, you know, like pretty much hands on. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, we 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 competitive. You know what I'm saying? Because we know it's a lot of competition out there. It's hard work. You know what I'm saying? If you want it, you're going to have to outwork the next people because these people out there working hard. You look at the Rip Rosses and the Jeezys and the Lil Wayne's, they work. They, they ain't playing with it. You know what I'm saying? They just make it look easy. You feel me? But, yeah, we, me and him, we yeah. at it. <laughs> it's war. We against each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what they other artists. You know what I'm saying? If they want to compete on the track, we got like five other artists signed to us. So it's like, you know, the best man win. I'm going to keep it two verses on here. You know what I'm saying? Bring your A game. Totally, oh, and they, totally sometimes they be like, oh, you you like the CEO, so you going to keep your verse on there. I, don't, I would take myself off that. I mean, hands down, I can't win all this, you know what I'm saying? You know, but we be grinding, man. <laughs> well, your, your grinding is definitely equating into a new project. I understand you gentlemen are working on a project entitled The Flood. Right, that'll yeah. be dropping right as the, the summer starts to kick off. Exactly. So what can we expect from that project? Oh, man, you got a banger out the bank. Oh, my God, man. And it's going to be, you know, hosted by uh, DJ Scream. Okay. Know. Shout out to DJ Scream, man. Yeah. We got some heat, man. You know? We okay. don't be versatile, man. We don't just rap about the streets. You know, we got something on there for the, you know, the ladies. You know? It's got some, you know, some real shit. Are, is there any producers or features we can look forward to hearing from or checking out on this upcoming project? Well, you got Young Thug. You got Scooter. We got Gucci. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, 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 got, we got some stuff. You know what I'm saying? We got, you know what I'm saying? A1, a super group. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's our artist too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's one of our groups too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we work. You know what I'm saying? We got Cho Cho. You know what I'm saying? He's an up and coming, you know, coming artist. He's doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? We don't have him in the streets. You know, I don't just glorify just the people that just already made it. I like to fuck, I like to fuck with the underdogs too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? We got Eleven Dub. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that, that like, because the best artist, he's sitting home right now. You know what I'm saying? The type of dudes we are, we like just like to give people a chance. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't mind, you know, I also call me up, like, can you do it, man, look, let's do it, let's get it, you feel me? You know what I'm saying, that's the type of type we stuff we going to, you know, we get back, because you put certain people in position, and seem like they want to, you know, remain in position, but they're not going to open the door and let the next person in. <laughs> we we different like that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I guess that's why we still, you know what I'm saying, because it's like, man, come on, man, I, we feel as though we, we, you know, we try to carry everybody on our back, like, man, come on, we're going to help you out, we're going to help you, you know what I'm saying? But right now, you know what I'm saying, we've been in the game for, man, you know, I'm 10 years, and a lot of people ask us, you know, why y'all ain't made it yet? Why y'all ain't there? Y'all got the music. Realistically, we street niggas, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So you kind of realize, you know, that, you know, like, the music never really paid us. You know what I'm saying? So we was playing with it. We used to think that you just throw money at it and it's going to do what it's going to do. You know what I'm saying? So right now, you know, me and Straight Drop just decided, you know what I'm saying? This is our last shot, bro. We don't do it here. We done. You know what I'm saying? So we going to give it our all. You know what I'm saying? So we have never, ever been as ready as we is now. Like, we working, like, I'm saying, and it's like, we kind of like figure, like, if we would have done that when we, you know, work as hard as we working now, with the Say Nothing record, we would we, we would be out of here right now, you know what I'm saying? We just, said, oh, I'm going to pay this person to go to the club for me, or oh, I'm going to pay this person to go work the records, you know what I'm saying? Never be in the club, you know what I'm saying? And I never remember, I, I never forget, I had to talk with Future, and Future was like, you stop coming out. You gotta stay. You never know when that record going to do what it do for you. You got to be in these people's face. You got to shake. These people's got to see you. You know what I'm saying? You because, dropping jewels right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got to see you. You know what I'm saying? And I, it never really hit me until I actually was working, you know, my group A1 of Supergroups project. And I'm like, they out. And I used to tell people I've never enjoyed the club. I'm like, I go to the club to work. That's why I didn't like it. So I say, bro, can you go to the club for me? Just go represent for the Rock Mob. Oh, you go represent for the Rock Mob. Oh, I got people in the club. I got promoters that's working the record. They going to make sure the record get played. And the DJ's feeling like, right now, they feeling like, you know, People we've helped break, they don't come back and support us. So if these rock mom niggas ain't even coming to the club and they sitting there bored at what's name, they wow. definitely ain't gonna come back with it. We break them. <laughs> we are probably yeah. out two, three, four clubs a night. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? You know, just, you know, messing with the people. You know, showing us, look, man, look, we, we, we real people. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I used to tell all the DJs, we ain't like that. We gonna come back. But they like, bro, you don't even come to the club. So if you ain't come to the club now, your record ain't broke. What we'll make you think you will come when we break you? So... We just got together and said, bro, we ready to do this, man. And, man, we ain't been asleep yet. You know what I'm saying? Close <laughs> days off. You see, drop, he like, you know what I'm saying? It's a constant grind. We get it like six, wow. seven, eight, you know what I'm saying? We just working. 
Two hours of back at it, right? You know what I'm saying? He constantly, you know what I'm saying? He a producer too. Yeah, I make mean, beats. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he, you know. In the beat room, it's close to home. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that at all. As 2014 moves forward, we know the flood is coming out. Yeah. What, is that, what, what else can we expect from the Rock Mob crew? Man, just some, man, like, you can never, you know, we, we flip it up. You know what I'm saying? We just so versatile, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, we got stuff for the ladies, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, like I say, you know, we, 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 we street dudes, you know what I'm saying? But we just like a different type, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? We just, we, gonna, we got something for everybody, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, we got hard music, man. We got like... I mean, you know, everybody gonna say their music is all the best and do that, but hands down, you know what I'm saying? Put your pen up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I guarantee you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't too many cats that's really out here, you know what I'm saying, fucking in our business right now, you know what I'm saying? That's just how I feel, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they might outwork us. They might got more better, had a better work ethic than us, but the music... Match it up to anybody's music, you know what I'm saying? Because it's real, you know what I'm saying? That everybody got real music, but a lot of cats be out here. I feel as though a lot of cats out here telling my story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Living my life, you know what I'm saying? Because I've really done that, you know what I mean? A lot of cats just hear about it or been around a dude that done that. We done that, you know what I'm saying? And I don't glorify that, you know what I'm saying? I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, thanks to God, I'm still here, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's a grind. And I feel as though, like, I pedaled this far. I'm in the middle of the ocean. Do I go back home or I, do I finish to the goal line? Oh, you, gotta go you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm in the between. So it's like, man, either I'm going or I'm going home. So I have to figure out, like, let me get to the goal line. I've been working enough. And when people talk about the rock mob, they, all they say is these cats, they've been working a long time. You know what I'm saying? And it's time for the DMV to really get their shot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Slack Dizzy, Fat Trail, Wale, Tabby Bonet. These cats that's really been grinding in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And they, they really making some noise up there. You know what I'm saying? It's just like home. It's like when I go home, it seems like as soon as I'm going up north, I transform into this whole different person. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you know, it's like it's like that's the street life up there. I guess, you know, we'll tell you how to, we, we, I guess we, how we got the name, the Rock Mob. We all let Drop tell you that. You know what I mean? I mean, it came from the streets. You know, we had this little, you know, the hood, you know, selling a lot of rocks and we decided to call, you know, our little neighborhood rock mafia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and we were just taking a drink and just made it rock mafia. <laughs> 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 and just roll with us. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, you know what I'm saying? We was just, you know, we just took it and transformed it to like, let's do something real with it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, actually, he was in a, a band, you know, and he, he was playing, you know, I'm in the street, so I'm getting money. Yeah. He was like, man, bro, I can rap, man, I can play the instruments. I'm like, all right, ooh. But I heard him, I'm like, shit. We got I, something right here. Went to the studio, and you know what I'm saying? I'll never forget. We had this song called Going Crazy, and, and like the chemistry was good. But I always, I was really inspired by, you know, Biggie, and, you know, he was inspired by Tupac. So that's kind of like the stuff we played. And the guy just dropped a jewel on me. He said, man, you might need to go to school for this. And I went to school. Like, it was like instantly, like six months later, I'm in school. Omega was school, school of Coronauts. You know what I'm saying? It's like the number two school. It's after uh, Full Sail. And, uh, the school and it just taught me all the engineering stuff, how to build the sound, you know, sound design, the third sound, you know what I'm saying? I can really work the knee, the SSL board, you know what I'm saying? I do, I do all that, you know what I'm saying? I'm admin certified to run Pro Tools when they first came out. So I just took my craft, built my studio in my house, my, you know what I'm saying? When I was living up in DC, came down here, and me and four other cats just put the studio together. Uh, a guy named by the name of Jason Pittman, he produced the party like a rock star okay. for the Shop Boys. That was my partner. Actually, that was his room in there, the B room. Okay. So we built this. We built the spot up. It's your man El Dorado, hip hop since 1987, sure. live in the A right now with the Rock Mob. If you haven't already, make sure immediately follow this interview. You go check their music out, man. Check. Any cats that want to follow y'all movement and keep up with y'all as far as 2014 and beyond, how can they go about doing that via social media and everything? Man, you can follow us. On our Twitter, our Instagram, and our uh, Facebook at the Rock Mob. That's T H E R O C K M O B. Let me repeat that: T H E R O C K M O B at the Rock Mob. Or you can go on our online, online du uh, you know, www.rockmobnews.com. You know what I'm saying? And our personal, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can hit drop up personally. And it's us really, you know what I'm saying? We don't got nobody running our social media, so you're really talking to us. You know what I'm saying? You got him on his Instagram, straight drop 11. Give it to him, drop. Yeah, my Instagram is at straight drop 11. That's 
S T R the number eight B R O P one one. And my personal Instagram, you know what I'm saying? We run them all. Is Rock Mob Mazi R O C K M A Z I. That's at Rock Mob Mazi. You know what I'm saying? That's my Instagram. But we here. Y'all hear it, man? We here. The Rock Mob. Look out for the flood coming later this summer.